Good morning, everybody. This is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. And today, as I'm drinking my morning coffee, I want to talk to you about state licensure as a marriage and family therapist. So please watch in this entire video, subscribe to my channel, uh, like and share. And uh, I really, really do appreciate all that you do for me and be able to do, share this content. Now, the first step of becoming a licensed marriage and family therapist with a state is that you have to complete your master's degree in counseling or a doctorate degree. It depends. Each state has their own level. Uh, but uh, if you complete your master's degree in counseling or mental health uh, counseling, then uh, you're good to go. But it's got to be KCAP accredited. So make sure you look at all the requirements of your state that you're in or want to be licensed in, and that will help you as well. Also, I cannot stress enough, you have to have supervision. You have to have supervision while you're getting your degree, but also after you get your degree, you have to have supervision for all the hours that you are collecting, otherwise they won't count. And so you have to have that agreement with a supervisor and meet with them every time that they want to meet and you're gonna discuss your case or if it's a group, you all might take turns discussing your case, but you have to, not only do you have to get hours of clinical training and seeing clients, but you also have to have hours, a number of hours that are of supervision. Uh, so uh, make sure that you find that supervisor who's AMFT approved and state approved and licensed as a supervisor. Uh, it can't just be anybody off the street, right? You have, they have to go through the supervisory program uh, beyond licensure and that helps that they are there to help you um, to gain those hours needed for your state. Now, the next thing, the third thing is taking that national exam. It is a very daunting exam. It is 180 questions, four hours to take. Um, and so you got to be prepared for that exam. I did a video on tips on taking that exam and what I found useful. So please view that video and it'll give you some great, great ideas and help you prep for that test. Now, also, like I said earlier, you have to have hours. Each state is different on the hours that they require from anybody becoming licensed with them. So, for example, North Carolina is 1,500 hours. Florida is 1,500 hours. So, each state is different. Some states even require 3,000 hours postgraduate hours, clinical work, supervise, under supervisory care. They require all those hours. So, check with your state. Make sure that they... Uh, you're in with, within the bounds of that, of getting those hours needed. And number five is the application process with the state. Every state, like I said, is different. So check out the regulatory board uh, of that state and make sure that you're doing all the things and meet all the qualifications for the application. And there's fees uh, and renewal fees every year and continuing education credits that you have to take uh, and report to the state. So make sure that you're keeping up with that as well. So those are the five steps of helping you be licensed with a state as a marriage and family therapist. I pray that this content will help you. And I pray that God's blessing be upon you in your journey. God bless.